Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read a poem, A Misspelled Tale from Oxford Modern English 5. Students, the poem is full of spelling mistakes. The poet has used many homophones. These are words that sound the same but have different meanings. In this poem, the poetess tells us a story of a boy who wanted to go outside to play. The sun was bright and he was taking permission from his mother. His mother permitted him but advised him to take his sledge along with him. Then the weather changed. It started snowing. He was on his sleigh going through snow drifts. He lost his way and looking at a treacherous hole in the road. And he wanted to meet some kind of soul to help him to find out his way to home because he was lost. Let's read the poem together. A little boy said, Mother dear, may I go out to play? The sun is bright, the air is clear. Oh mother, don't say nay. Go forth, my son, the mother said. The ant said, Take your sleigh, your nice new sled, all painted red, but do not lose your way. The weather changes and it starts to snow. Through some drifts great, through watery pool, he flew with might and main. Said he, Though I would walk by rule, I am not right, tis plain. I would like to meet some kindly soul, for here new dangers wait, and yonder stirs a treacherous hole. Too slow has been my gait. I am weak and pale. I've missed my road. But here a cart came past. He and his sled were safely towed back to his home at last. Now I will tell you the meaning of the homophones used in the poem. Why a male child? Why float? Deer, a quite large animal with four legs that eats grass and leaves. Deer, regarded with great affection. Air, the invisible gaseous substance surrounding the earth. Air, a person legally entitled to the property. Two, excessively, also. Two, expressing motion in the direction. Sun, the sun is the star at the center of the solar system. Sun, a boy in relation to his parents. Oh, sorrowful exclamation. Oh, having an obligation to pay or repay. Ni, a sound made by a horse. Ne, a negative answer. Fourth, out and away from a starting point. Fourth, constituting number four in a sequence. And a very small insect that lives under the ground in large and well-organized social group. And the sister of father or mother or the wife of uncle. Your, a large jug with a wide mouth. Your belonging to the person that the speaker is addressing slay kill a person or animal in a violent way slay a type of the sledge pulled by animals nice a type of metamorphic rock nice pleasant new past of no to have knowledge new produced introduced or discovered recently all to small pointed tool. All used to refer the whole quantity. Red, pass to read. Understand, red, red is the color. But used to introduce a phrase or clause. But hit someone or something with the head or horns. Not, tie, loop, do not. A command or entreaty. No to do so. We find out how heavy. We a method, style, or manner of 
doing something so moving in one side and out of the other side so past tense of through send something through the air with force great reduce food to small shreds by rubbing it on a grater great very good flew a gas heater a power station flew past to fly might very little might used to express the possibility that something will happen or done used to express permission mean a growth of long hair on the neck of a horse mean chief forest in size rank wood an area of land smaller than a forest wood past of will right ceremony ritual right morally good plain flat surface plain simple meet the flesh of an animal meet come together some a particular amount of money some an unspecified amount or number of soul being the only one soul the spiritual part of a human being new a large frequent animal that has a long tail and horns stairs look fixedly stair a set of steps leading from one floor to a building to another hole all of hole a place that needs to be filled two pair two to a higher degrees slow the small sore blackish fruit of the black thorn slow moving at a slow speed weak a period of 7 days weak feeble lacking the power to perform physically pale a bucket pale light in color or shade mist large number of tiny drops of water in the air mist past of mist to fail to do road past of ride to set on a horse bicycle etc road route or way cart plain card cart carriage transport sled a vehicle usually on runners made for sliding upon snow sledge a vehicle on runners for conveying loads over snow or ice toad a small brown animal similar to a frog toad pull down pull draw now come to the exercises a understanding the poem answer the following questions a what reasons did the boy give for wanting to go out answer the boy said that the sun was bright the air was clear and that is why he wished to go out b what warning was the boy given answer he was warned not to lose his way c what mood was the boy in when he went out answer he was keen to go outside and play he must have been happy when he was given permission to do so d how was the weather in the morning and in what way did it change answer in the morning the sun was bright then the weather changed it started snowing e what factors made the boy feel that things were not right answer he was on his sleigh going through snow drifts and watery pools but normally he would have walked now he was lost and looking at a treacherous hole in the road his progress had been too slow and he wanted to meet some kindly soul because he had lost his way these questions are more difficult discuss them first as what is the effect of the use of incorrect spellings answer it creates confusion it makes it humorous g do you like this poem Exa- explain why or why not answer yes i like this poem because it contains a lot of homophones which gives vocabulary and information to us refer to the text and answer the questions a the ant said take your sleigh one who says these words and to whom 
answer the ant said these words to the little boy to what kind of sleigh does the boy have answer he has a nice new sledge painted red b though i would walk by rule i am not right tis plain one who says these words and to whom the little boy says these words to himself two what does by rule mean answer it means normally as is my usual habit three how is the speaker feeling at this time answer he is upset and lost he wishes to go back at home working with words think of homophones words with the same pronunciation but with a different spelling for the following words feet feet pain sight scent sees sore to write the full forms of these abbreviations eg example gratia kg kilogram b c e before common era mr mr mrs mistress ad anno domini thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like